Add 27 photos to this sound and let it sink. Hey everyone, what's up? So here's something cool, an ESP32 cam based point and shoot camera. So the idea here was to take this very useful ESP32 cam board and flash it with a sketch that let us take an image and save it on the memory card. Kinda like a proper point and shoot camera but this setup won't have any kind of display on it. Which is a bummer but it will work. Here's an example of how an image captured by this ESP32 cam would look. To be honest it's pretty bad but it works. We have a camera at our disposal that is handheld and can take images which is a cool thing. In this video I'm gonna show you guys how you can make this setup in few easy ways. Also check out my previous video on ESP32 cam if you want to get started with it. Now let's get started. ESP32 CAM is quite a useful development board. It is equipped with a 2 megapixel OV2640 camera module and an SD card reader on the bottom side of board. It also costs around $10 which is a pretty sweet price tag for such a capable microcontroller. The Wi-Fi module used in this version is ESP32S which has a built-in 32MB of flash and 512KB internal plus external 4MB PS RAM. It's 5 volt tolerant which means we can power this module with a voltage less than 5 volt. If you provide it a voltage greater than 5 volt, it will get destroyed. Here's a fun project for this board. A point and shoot camera that will capture image and save it into the SD card. Previously I have made a security cam concept with this ESP32 cam board and it worked. I have placed it outside my home and it is still working. My point here is this little guy can handle all sort of stuff from streaming a video to capture images. Now before making a PCB edition of this project I prepared a simple setup which was this. First I flashed the ESP32 cam with the main sketch of this project. I made a temporary setup on a perf board just for testing. Then I added this setup with a 5 volt power source which is this lipo boost module that you can buy online. After connecting 5V and ground of boost module with ESP32 cams 5V and ground, we can power this board reliably. For capturing a picture, we just press the reset button and the camera setup will capture an image with a delay of 3 seconds. Now let's move on to the next step or the next variant which is the PCB edition of this ESP32 cam setup. Now to make the PCB of this ESP32 camera setup, I really don't have to do the whole R&D thing in this project. As basically this is an ESP32 camera powered by a lipo boost converter circuit. So what I did was I first got the IP5306 IC which is a power management IC that has an inbuilt low cut and high cut feature both available. It also boosts the lipo cell voltage from 3.7V to 5V 2A which is a lot. I check out its datasheet and then prepared a schematic in my PCB CAD software which was this. This setup is relatively simple, there is a minimal IP5306 setup. Output from this IP5306 goes into the 5V and ground of ESP32 CAM breakout pins. I have also added this switch to the PCB. Its connection is also not connected to the board or anything. That because I will manually solder wires from both terminal of the reset button on the ESP32 to these pads. After completing the schematic, I then converted it into a PCB design. I place all the components in the right order and then connected their tracks to each other properly. I also then added few artistic elements on this PCB which include this custom cell screen, this logo and also a bongo cat. After finishing this design, I exported its Gerber data and sent it to PCBWay for samples. 
I have been using PCB waste service for a long time now and for this project I got PCBs in purple solder mask. This was my first time getting a purple PCB and the experience of that was just great. I really like the overall quality of the solder mask and the custom cell screen that I placed all over the board. Check out PCB way for getting great PCB service at a less cost. Assembly process of this PCB include three major things which are solder paste dispensing, pick and place process, hot plate reflow process and adding THT components. First we place solder paste on each component pad. I am using a generic solder paste with a solder paste dispensing syringe. Then we place all the components to their assigned place one by one. You could see the schematic for the precise location of each component. After adding components to their location, we carefully lift this PCB and put it on an SMT hot plate. I am using my DIY SMT hot plate which you can check out from here. Hot plate heats this PCB from below up to the solder paste melting temperature. As soon as the PCB reaches that temperature, solder paste melt and all the components get soldered to their pads. We lift this PCB and then place it on a cooler surface for a little bit to cool down the heat of PCB. After completing the SMD process, we add remaining THT components like the USB port, header pins, battery connector. At last, after completing this circuit, I added this lithium cell to this circuit and check the output voltage at 5 volt and ground. Originally, I wanted to use this lipo cell, but I ended up using this lithium ion cell. After checking the board and making sure that everything is nice and dandy, I added ESP32 board on the PCB, but before that, I added wires on the board terminal of the SMD button, which is on the ESP32. I then connected those wires to the connecting pad provided on the circuit. Basically, I am just adding this switch in parallel with the SMD button of ESP32. Now we can reset the board from the custom PCB instead of pressing the reset button on ESP32 CAM. The sketch is already added to this ESP32. For programming the ESP32, please check this video of mine. Now we add SD card to the ESP32 and power this whole board by pressing the power on switch of the IP5306 IC. Then we press reset button and our camera will take photograph with a delay of 3 seconds. As you can see the camera is working and clicking images with this is possible. Image quality however is not really great but hey, what did you expect? It's an ESP32 cam with an OV2640 camera which is a 2 megapixel image sensor from 2005. Now the PCB of this project looks and works great but it is meant to be a portable device so I designed its body in Fusion 360 and then 3D printed it on my Ender 3. I use PLA for this project but other materials can also be used as well. So this is the final form of my ESP32 camera project. It looks awesome but it doesn't work very well. Maybe I could make a better camera setup with a Raspberry Pi camera module but that would be cheating as I will be porting this project from ESP32 cam to a Raspberry Pi which is a freaking computer on a chip. We'll see what happened in the next iteration of this project. Until then, stay tuned and I'll be back with another project soon. Peace out.